There are a couple of ways to zoom in and out on a Mac. Which method you use depends on whether you want to zoom into the display as a whole or just zoom into individual applications. I'll start by demonstrating how to zoom into your display and then we'll move on to individual apps. As always, you can skip ahead using the time tags in the description. So let's get started. So I zoom into areas of my screen using the zoom accessibility feature and you'll find that in the settings app under accessibility. If you own a Mac laptop or separately purchase the trackpad, you can use the trackpad to zoom by enabling one or both of these options. My preference is to use the scroll gesture with a modifier key. The modifier key is essentially the keyboard key you wish to hold down to activate the zoom function. You have three options, but I tend to stick with the control key. Having enabled this setting, now when you want to zoom in, hold down the modifier key and use your two fingers to zoom in and out, as if you were scrolling up and down a web page. You'll note that the whole screen zooms in and that is because the zoom style is set to full screen. You can change this to be split screen, which will allocate a section of the screen to show the zoomed in display. Or my personal favorite is picture in picture, which presents the zoom in a little box. All of these different zoom styles are initiated by scrolling using your two fingers and the modifier key. Having zoomed in, you can move your cursor as per normal to move around the screen. If you use the picture in picture mode, you have additional settings for moving the box, which you'll find under advanced. I like to have the box move with the cursor, which looks like this. To come out of zoom or close zoom altogether, just simply zoom out all of the way. There are lots more zoom options that you can play about with in the advanced settings. If you don't have a trackpad or you prefer to use shortcut keys, then enable this option instead. As the tooltip describes, press Option, Command and the number 8 to toggle zooming in and out. Or Option, Command and the plus and minus keys will do the same thing. Option, Command and plus to zoom in and Option, Command and minus to zoom out. As with the trackpad, you can change the zoom style to switch between full screen, split screen, and picture in picture mode. Once zoomed in, you can move around the screen using your cursor. If you would rather just enlarge text instead of zooming in, then enable this option and then simply hold down the command key when hovering your cursor over some text. Mac will display the text in an enlarged font. So that is how to zoom in and out of your screen as a whole. Now let's look at individual applications. As with the first half of this video, if you use a trackpad, zooming in and out of applications is very easy. And it requires you to just pinch as you would if you were zooming in and out of a photo. It doesn't work on all apps, but it will on the obvious ones, such as preview, photos, pages, safari, and even text editor. However, it won't work in Notes or the Mail app, for example. An alternative to using the trackpad is of course to use shortcut keys. And your best bet for zooming in and out of applications is to use Command and Plus to zoom in and Command and Minus to zoom out. Or in some applications, you'll find that it's Command and the greater than key and the less than key. So for example, to zoom in and out on Safari or Chrome, it's command and plus or minus, and then command and zero will get you back to 100%. In pages, however, it's command and the greater than and less than keys. Finally, if you find that everything on your screen just looks too small, you can of course just change the resolution of your display to make everything bigger. And you do that by opening settings and selecting display. So that is how to zoom in and out on your Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more useful tips and tricks on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning how to password protect files and folders on your Mac or how to rename multiple files at once. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.